Hey gang, Jack Allaire here. Uh, we are starting our journey through World of Warcraft Classic. The noble humans of Stormwind are a proud, tenacious race. Though the we're recent go ahead invasion of the demonic burning... You can go ahead and watch that if you want to. Uh, I am not going to. We're not going to display tips because we don't need them. There we are. It's me, Jack Allaire. And wave at everybody. So, this is vanilla World of Warcraft. I am playing a rogue because I enjoy having a rogue class. I have absolutely nothing in my inventory. There's my little quest dude over there. Want to cover some things real quick, uh, just in case some of you don't know. So, coming into the main map, one of the things, or a few things, that you might want to do turn auto loot on. Uh, this basically means that the a body that you click, everything loads in, otherwise you actually have to do it each individual time. And open loot window at mouse. So what this does is that normally when you loot something it will always open the window in the same spot. If you want to open the window where the mouse is, that will do it for you. If you have auto loot on and the shift key, this will toggle it. A few other things we want to look through here. Uh, show target of target. It's going to be important later on. Uh, we've got our display. Instant quest text. So let's show, let me show what this does. So we come up here, talk to you, Deputy Willem. What can I do for you? And as you'll see, that it scrolls and it fills in. Now this is really cool. And this was immersive when we did it 15 years ago. So, great. But now every time you click Hello. on him, he see starts you later. it again. So what you can do is if you don't want to wait for that, come in here, click on instant quest text. Now, Good day to boom, you. quest text. So for those of you who can read fast or aren't going to read any of this, you can go ahead and do Have a that. Good one. So he wants to talk to Marshal McBride. Up here we've got a, there's a little dot. It's letting us know to talk to him. Greetings. A threat within. Gird yourself for a long campaign. About an hour. We'll be out of here. So we gotta kill the kobold vermin. Be careful. And this is this is what one of the things that I miss about current World of Warcraft is that this is a quest hub, but it's not grab three you quests, go something? do the thing, and then come back. So this guy's like, hey, he's looking for someone to hunt wolves. Safe travels. I can hunt wolves, so I'll go hunt some wolves. But it says that he wants somebody to hunt wolves. If I just go around killing wolves right now, it won't do anything. Hey there. That's true, I'm looking for someone to hunt some wolves. Are you that person? Why well, yes I am. So he actually doesn't and this is another thing where he doesn't want me to actually kill the wolves. See you. He later. wants me to bring uh, the meat. And this is where we're going to start running into our problems. Oh crap. I'm on the wrong... Is it that one? Nope. Sorry, having a problem here. Four. Four? Four. Nope. Four? Two, three, four. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix this later. My buttons are all messed up. So here we go. Down here, we can see that these are uh, defensive skills. And see, that's the auto loot. You can see the skills going up. So that's my throne. And now I'm gonna learn 
Now you may be wondering, but, but Jack, why aren't you using any of your skills? Here's the thing. So the the more you use your skills, the faster you kill things. The faster you kill things, the less defense you will get. So we got a ragged foot. Another little tip I'm gonna give you guys. Most of this stuff, oh, first of all, turn off general chat as soon as you get here. I leave general chat on because I'm amused and not easily offended. If you are, general chat will drive you nuts. So here's the thing with the armor. That's gonna give us three armor. We don't care at this point, or at least I don't. Greetings. So you're gonna see me doing a lot of questionable stuff. To include selling know. a bunch of armor that mm, some people would probably keep. But I'm just not gonna because I don't I don't want armor. Not specifically anyways. <laughs> Okay, now I'm level two. See, I've got those two buttons for it. It's gonna drive me nuts. But your skill, uh, skills. So here, are, here are my skills. See, I know. Uh, weapon skills, I know daggers, defense, thrown, and unarmed. And I have cloth and leather. And I still don't know why... Ugh. Sorry. Old pet peeve of mine that they have... Uh, language skills in the game. They never did anything with them. So we're up to seven of eight. <laughs> and the the weapon skill determines a whole bunch of nonsense. And we can go turn in the quest. But we're gonna come over here and kill Cobalt, because why not? But we have to kill the vermin. And this is going to be a lot of the first beginning of the levels. Some other things that you're going to want to keep an eye on, like I have 42 copper. Everything is expensive. And there will be a handful of things that you'll just not understand at this point. But being a, being a rogue, actually every class, every class that you have, you are basically a glorified warrior up until level 10. And level 10 is when everybody's going to start getting their cool stuff. It's when others are going to get their pets, it's when uh, I think warlocks are going to get their voidwalker. Uh, 
I don't know what priests get because I've never leveled a priest. I mean, I've leveled a priest, but... Mages don't start getting... But yeah, basically everybody... Everybody up until a certain level is just running around with a stick or a, little, or a dagger or something and just beating things into unconsciousness. Which is funny, but... Eh. <laughs> My target is dead. Come on. The wolf respawned. Rogues are going to get stealth? Or is it dual wield? I can never remember which one comes first. That's a worker. That's a vermin. Where are we at? 7 of 10? Yeah. But this is going to be uh, kind of obnoxious. For the first little bit. Also because if people don't loot. So something I noticed on one of the one of the expansions oh, there he is. Was that some of these guys don't respawn unless they've been looted and they're in a in groups of like three so it's super weird see none of us care about the worker yet because we're not on that quest and I was too slow Oh yeah, combo points? I'm used to... Oh, here's another thing. So, see how these two are right next to each other? I looted that one. You have to loot each one of them individually. So, that doesn't carry over. We've got to get one more here. There we go. Now we got all our stuff. And look, we're almost to level 3. And I think level 3 is when we actually start getting some new stuff. Um, once you get out of here, it starts to spread out a whole bunch. How are you? Safe travels. I supply only the finest goods. But see, I don't like these. I don't have gloves, but I, nothing does enough damage at this point. And I can just wear those, 
those that one bracer the bracer gives almost as much as the gloves and the bracers worth six and the gloves are worth two so yeah. see you later and see he's got another quest for me King's honor friend we have your gratitude and there's our level three we got 17 hit points one agility and one spirit okay uh, encrypted leather and speak to the stable behind the north okay. go with so honor be our rogue trainer what can i do for you cobalt workers okay. for the alliance so basically he wants us to go back and then kill the cobalt workers. But I am playing on uh, the RP server. Which is where I just wanna So this will come in to a shock to some of you, but they actually care about naming here. Stuff gets weird. Okay. I still don't... The weirdest thing is that I don't remember if that was a thing or not. Greetings. So here we go. Have a good one. Okay, so here's the rogue trainer. So we get we've got stealth. Now, modern day the rogue can move it at normal speed. But this, you will move at half speed. And it puts Be it careful. up there above, which is kind of... Yeah, so see, this is how you move. Also, stealth is completely pointless. Did I ever actually talk to the guy? No, probably not. Watered off. But it is com stealth is completely pointless until you get more of the things to do with it. So you'll notice there was backstab on there. Backstab and pickpocket and all kinds of other nonsense. Yep, we got distracted with names. Race Lena. Mm -hmm. Good day to Playing you. On okay. Bring Have a good relaps. Okay. He wants me to go over there. But we're not going to go over there yet. We're going to go over here. Mm -hmm. And get the cobalt workers. So see, now we want the blue guys. And I'm sure everybody else is going to want the blue guys too. So now that we did that, our skills go up five points at a time. Uh, the rogue will eventually have a race. So, because for humans... Humans get mace specialization and sword specialization. Which means that when I have a mace and a sword, I will be doing a lot more damage. I'm 
reading reading the chat. Humans couldn't be hunters in this one. Oh, you also can't do ranged while moving. Totally forgot about that. Combo points go away whenever you tab target a friend of Bray. And this will kind of be. I just want to show you guys a little bit of what it's like. It's going to be uh, fairly boring. So I will go ahead and call it here. Um, if you want to see the extended version, which is basically just be a bunch of nonsense, uh, go ahead and there'll be a link to the in the description to a longer uncut section. Otherwise, I'll uh, pick it up again once we get out of here. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!